feeling fine one night in the hospital undergoing brain surgery the next. Brain cancer is a frightening diagnosis that often comes without much warning in children. Now there is new technology to remove brain tumors in children and eliminate the need for multiple surgeries. Channel 2 anchor Rachel McNeil explains how a special MRI procedure is helping doctors be more precise. Willie and Plachette Young know raising five kids isn't easy, but nothing could have prepared them when six-year-old Willie Jr. got sick. Out of nowhere, it was like, I'm having headaches, Dad. I'm having headaches, Mom. A CT scan found a life-threatening condition. Willie was rushed to the hospital for emergency surgery. He had a lot of pressure um, on his brain uh, from a mass that was growing uh, really in the center of his brain. Doctors removed the tumor right away. It often takes more than one surgery to remove the cancer. Now, intraoperative MRI is changing that protocol. What this technology does is it, it brings MRI imaging, direct imaging of the brain uh, without radiation into the operating room. The IMRI allows doctors to check their work during or right after surgery. If there's a piece of that tumor that's remaining that we weren't able to discern during surgery, um, then we can go back in and, and take that last piece out. Preventing the need for another operation and anesthesia. Any sort of lesion in the brain, I think that this is really, uh, really needs to be the gold standard. Ready, go. Thanks to the IMRI, doctors were able to remove most of Willie's tumor without causing damage. And I just thank God and the technology that was used during the surgery to bring our baby back. So Willie can keep playing with his siblings for years to come. There are no widely recommended screening tests to look for brain tumors in children before they start to cause symptoms. Those symptoms typically include headaches, nausea, vomiting, blurred vision, and balance problems. In some children, seizures can be an early sign of a brain tumor. Rachel McNeil, KPRC Channel 2 News.